Well, tell us about the Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers of the 70s. Uh, you know, do you have any favorite stories from your playing days? You know what? It was just a wonderful time. It was a wonderful era. And, and no one would have ever known that, uh, if you look at the history of the Steelers, that there would have been this, this era that turned out to be some of the greatest football ever in NFL history. It was just the right timing. A lot of great guys came in. We gelled, had great coaching. Uh, you know, it, 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 it just came together. We were so well balanced in offense and defense. We had weapons in every category and in, and our you know we had and in defense we had weapons in every category so it was a pretty awesome team terry bradshaw did he stop talking back in the day <laughs> he hasn't stopped yet so <laughs> what was your favorite super bowl out of all four well the first one always holds a special place in sure. your heart right. but uh but to me one of the most exciting was super bowl 13 at 35 31 against the dallas cowboys that oh, yeah. was uh quite a game and especially going against uh, the number one team, number one defense at that time. Do you wear the rings? No, I don't. I don't wear any any uh, jewelry. So they're in a safe deposit box or in your drawer? Where are they? Can't tell you. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to say I'm not going to tell you no. in 1972. Everyone they mentioned Franco Harris, the immaculate reception. That was your rookie year, right? Yes, it was. And uh, uh, 1972 was a magic year for the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, and a magic year for myself personally was great because before that they never won anything and then we won our division that year and and then played the Raiders in that playoff game right. and as you know that the game of the, of the immaculate reception and went into the championship game against the undefeated Miami Dolphins and 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 they beat us but I look at it wow my rookie year we were one game away from the Super Bowl that was quite amazing who was supposed to catch the ball uh, well, the pass, uh, Bradshaw threw the ball to Frenchie Fuqua. Oh, okay. And, uh, and then after that, no one knows who hit it, where, right. you know, what happened with it. And, uh, but that's what Mr. Rooney said. He said, hey, keep the play immaculate. Don't <laughs> say anything. 